So a few months back, I showed you guys my storage solution for video production, and it seemed like a lot of people like that. So I decided that, you know, with this whole thing that's going on, I was going to do some updates, and I thought I would kind of update you guys on what I think of the current versions of FreeNAS, because there's been a bunch of changes with uh, where FreeNAS is kind of heading. Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve, like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs, like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. About a month ago, I got an email and it was kind of announcing that uh, FreeNAS and TrueNAS was going to get merged as one project. And they kind of are the same thing, but they're a little bit different. FreeNAS has like plugins and it's kind of like little programs that work within like using the other resources on the system. And then um, TrueNAS doesn't have those, I believe, but TrueNAS has like high availability so if you have multiple systems and one goes down it'll push all that traffic to the other one and then they also have depending on uh, which uh, enclosure you have they kind of have this like diagram thing that shows you which drive is currently out and a couple of little things like that uh, but now they're going to be taking both of them and putting them together um, from what they were saying is they have two teams that are kind of working on both of them and they find it easier to just work on one project and have all of their resources on just one project instead of just constantly updating both of them and um, keeping all of the information about both of them accurate to you know, the, the, the specific one that the, the information would be for. So that seemed pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that I was going to just be able to get the new version, right? And it seems like this is going to be a little bit, uh, the TrueNAS Core 12 is going to uh, take a little bit. Uh, they're talking about betas and stuff like that. So what has been new? So I've updated both of these. There was a, there was a, a little thing that I've noticed uh, that was kind of a pain in the butt and I'll show you that here in a second. The other thing that I did is I uh, installed True Command and the cool thing with this is I mean, I only have two systems, but if you had more than one, really, uh, you can have True Command kind of look at all of your systems and kind of give you like an overview of how the systems are doing. Um, you can see like the storage, the utilization, and then they have this other thing that's over here. So let me turn off one of these so I can show you this. Let's actually switch it to this one. So this is my backup system. And it's saying that there's 71 alerts, right? So before 11.3, when it was 11.2, my alerts were only like things that I should be concerned with. So it was only, the only alerts that I would get were alerts about a drive going bad, alerts about uh, one of these systems not being able to see the other system because they're, they, they sync the data. So my main system syncs to the backup system. And if the main system can't see the backup system, it kind of uh, lets me know. Uh, so those were like the only alerts. So when I would log in here, if I seen the red over here, then I'd be like, oh, okay, there's something I got to really check out because I don't really log into like the main interface that often. Uh, I would, so when I when I uh, installed this, I was like, awesome. I, you know, I can just come into here, see if there's any issues. The other thing that I have set up and I don't know what it's called, it's by um, Amazon. It's like notification services or something like that. Anyways, uh, FreeNAS can kind of connect to one of those services and they have like this free plan where you get 150 text messages for free each month and so i just use that to get all of my um anytime there was an, an error or sometimes like a, a drive's going bad a data pool's going bad which is kind of almost like a raid um or if if there was something wrong with a system i get a text message about it so that's kind of cool um but those same alerts i would see here too uh, but now it seems now that I went to 11.3, I see everything. So when it starts to scrub a pool, when it finishes scrubbing a pool, the 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 um, the temperature thing that's a good thing to know. Um, but it was kind of confused as to like what was going on here. So then when I was looking into uh, True Command a little bit more, I seen that there was an update. So. I initially went into my Proxmox. Let me just, I don't know where my mouse is. All right, so I could come into uh, to see my updates, see if there was any updates. And when I came into here, 
it said the system was up to date. I was like, okay, well, can I switch trains or something? And it said I, there was like nothing to choose here. Um, so that was kind of lame. Um, so it seemed like there was no updates, right? But then the more and more I was looking into this, I, I, uh, I found that there was a 1.2 that came out this year. So I was like, awesome, let's get that. And when I went in here, it's only a VDI, which is a, um, a, a copy of like the hard drive when it's already installed and everything. And I didn't really want that because I want to have like all of the stuff, all of like the past information. And then I couldn't find in here like a file that I could copy over. So when I was going around, I then seen that there was this update thing. Well, why can't I do the online update? That's kind of weird. But the weird thing is that up here, it's all set up for, it says like upload, right? So it's kind of weird because if you click on this, it's like updating and then you come over to here and it's like completed your update. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I'm playing around with this. I seen that. I was like, okay, I don't think that that's working as intended, but yeah. So it doesn't seem like I can get an update because if I come back and look at 1.1, which is the one I have right now, they have all different, oh, wait, there's an update thing here. Oh, this is probably to go from 1.0 to 1.1. Yeah, there's nothing here for, there's nothing here for 1.2 because 1. I don't know. Anyways, so I I haven't been able to update that. Hopefully, there's something that I'm missing. I don't know. If you guys know, then you know, let me know. But um, so yeah, I am currently uh, it's still using FreeNAS. I still highly recommend it if you uh, are looking for some type of storage solution. And maybe you're on a budget or you want something that's really fast and high end. It's super weird because it's free. You can use any hardware and it's 99% of the time way better than a lot of those other pre-built NAS units. And in my video, which will be in the description, I talk about why I like this over those and that you don't have to be stuck to specific hardware. You can use older like enterprise hardware that you can get on eBay for like almost nothing. And the output that you would get from that hardware surpasses anything that you would be able to get for the same amount of money. I've been using these, just kind of wanted to give a little bit of an update now that I'm doing an update to them, um, getting both systems up to 11.3 uh, U1, which I think is the, the newest thing. Still using it, still love it, still getting great performance out of it. All I have to do every once in a blue, and it's only because I've had these drives in here for so long, is sometimes they die, but it gives you forewarning before they die. And because they're in a raid array, you can just pull one out, pop another one in, never lose any data, and it never even has to pull anything from the backup. But if that one whole system gets wet, has a fire, something, I don't have to be that concerned because I have a backup in another location, so that's always good. Yeah, if you do, you guys have any you know interest in this kind of thing? I mean, there's a ton of videos already on this stuff, but uh, you know, I can kind of tell you my views on on different things like this, specifically for uh, using with DaVinci Resolve or you know, just backing up ridiculous amounts of large files because that camera right there makes some really big files um and this handles it like a champ and it's on my network i edit directly from it my computer has like very small hard drives and would never be able to deal with the files out of that even if you don't have really big files like that just having another place to store everything so if your you know computer would die or you don't have it just on one drive. If that one drive dies, you're gonna lose it. So even you could do this stuff even on like a budget. Um, but yeah, update about my free NAS boxes, still running like a champ. And yeah, I'm going to update my main system here. If you guys know, if anyone knows anything about true command and how to actually update it, would love to hear from you guys. I don't know how many people in my community actually use True Command. I know a couple of people after my FreeNAS video said that they've made FreeNAS systems, which is freaking awesome. Um, and I guess for those people, you can update to 11.3 U1, and I haven't had an issue, so you probably shouldn't have an issue. But everyone's hardware is a little bit different. But on the flip side of that, for the people that don't know about FreeNAS, I just said it, but 
even if you update and it's not working, you can always go back to your old boot environment and run it as if you know there was no issue. And then when the new update comes out, just jump from that older boot environment to the new update. You can skip that one. So while I was in the process of updating this video, I just seen this post that says that uh, there's an update now for FreeNAS 11.3 U2. So I guess I'm going to update my primary system to U1 and then my backup system to U2. It's kind of funny how fast these things update. Really looking forward to seeing True Command come into full effect. They're saying that they're going to be, you know, merging both uh, together. So it's pretty seamless when when the name actually changes but uh yeah so can't wait for that i thought that that was going to be now but i guess we have to wait a little bit but yeah that's kind of it i'm open to hear your input if content like this about you know the system behind doing all of the video production stuff is of interest. I can continue making content like this. I know some of you will not really be interested, but some of you will. If there are some people that are interested in it, I can continue to keep making this kind of stuff. There is a plugin or two that was added into FreeNAS that is for um, dealing with large amounts of footage, being able to like index it and, and find things easily. I haven't really played with it, I'm not too sure about it. I would have to play with it a little bit more. I'm actually waiting for another similar system um, that I'm actually kind of versed in um, to start supporting the uh, Blackmagic wall files. I contacted them, oh man, that was almost like nine months ago, said something about it and they said like they're working on it. Um, don't know how long that's going to take, but once you know they they get back to me and they say hey you know we've done this or i see them talking about it on um twitter or whatever and i, I play around with it if it works out i'll let you guys know about it uh but yeah let me know if you guys like this you know behind the scenes working on infrastructure for video production uh, but yeah with that being said that's pretty much it guys stay safe my name's jr and thanks for watching